Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, or, or wherever you are in the world. Uh, hello, time for another gas walkthrough. Uh, my name is Bill Murphy. I will be taking you through April 25th, 2024's nearest neighbors. Um, this puzzle was set by Clover, who's another one of our setters here at Gas HQ. What do we do at Gas HQ? We make genuinely approachable Sudoku. Um, these are odd little variant Sudokus using, you know, alternate rule sets and different things that you may not have seen before. Uh, today's puzzle is called Nearest Neighbors. Um, we do these daily. Hit subscribe if this is your first time watching one of these puzzles. Uh, you can find the link for this one in the description below. Uh, with uh, that, you'll also find hat times. Hat times are like a little thing if you want to pace yourself, if you want to go quick, uh, or if you want to just track and see how you're going. Uh, two hats is for a very fast time. One hat is for a pretty fast time. And Everyone gets a dinosaur for completion because we love you all equally. Um, with that, let's get into the puzzle. Um, so, normal Sudoku rules apply. So, in each box, row, and column, uh, you will find the digits 1 to 9 once each. Also, some out cells contain arrows like these ones. Uh, an arrow always points to the orthogonally adjacent cell whose value is closest to the value in the arrow cell. If, uh, for if there are multiple arrows in a cell, then multiple adjacent arrow cells are equally close. For instance, if an arrow cell with a six is surrounded by a three, a four, an eight, and a nine, uh, it's hard for me to draw those arrows, but uh, say if I put, well, we don't have one. It's fine. Don't worry about it. But if I put a six here and then it had a three, a four, an eight, and a nine, this arrow would point at this three because the difference between those two is three. The difference between those, oh, sorry. It would point at the four and the eight because the difference between those two, six and eight is two, six and four is two, six and nine is three, and six and three is three. So it would point at the one where the difference is the biggest. Please note, that implies a negative constraint, which we are going to use today. Negative constraint, if you haven't uh, been here before, um, is if the, if the difference is bigger than the smallest one, we will not be using it today. So, uh, oh, we will not, uh, it will not post, uh, point, sorry. Uh, I have the TV on the background and the post office ad just came up. Um, so, with that being said, uh, feel free to give this puzzle a go. The link is in the description. I will definitely put the right one. Um, with that, let's get going. So, one, if the nearest neighbor is not three, it means that the difference must be two, uh, must be less than two, aka one. So we're going to put a two there. Now, if the difference between uh, one and three doesn't get it an arrow, it means this must also have a difference of one. So we're going to put a four there. Now, where do we put nine in box one? Can't go either there or there, uh, anywhere there. So it must be that. Uh, where do we put seven in box one? Oh, seven goes there leaving five, six, and eight to place. Uh, these, these eights tell us eight must go there. Six puts a six there and a five there. Now, let's go over here. Uh, we can do the same logic. If seven won't get an arrow while it's next to nine, then the difference must be one, putting an eight there. If seven uh, doesn't, if uh, seven and nine don't get an arrow together, uh, means that seven must also have a difference of one and because it can't have an eight, it must have a six. Now, uh, where do one and three go in box three? Well, one and three must go here um, because of those two. Now, three tells us that three and one must go that way. Now we have two, four and five to place. If I take two out of here, four there, this needs to have an equidistant value. So if this was four, I would need to place zero or another eight in that cell. That can't work. So we're gonna put a five there, two there, a four there. This is now three, six, and eight. Uh, sorry, not three, six, and eight, six, seven, and eight. Now, 
if we can't put a uh, set nine and seven doesn't get an arrow, that means that this must be an eight. Or we can take the eights out of there. This is one and five, and these are two and four. We can do that one. Let's set down slightly. One nearest neighbor must be two because it can't be three. So we'll put a two here. Um, all right, now, down here, uh, what's the nearest neighbor to two if it's not four? Well, we have a one here, so we'll put a three in that box. Four, if it, the nearest neighbor doesn't, isn't a difference of two, it must be a difference of one. We already, we just put a th uh, three there. Let's put a five here. Now, eight and six in box nine, uh, eight goes there because uh, it can't go anywhere else. And we'll put a six here. Uh, we need to place one, two, and nine in this box. Uh, we can do that because we've got a one and a two and a one and a nine. So one, nine, and two. Uh, oh, sorry. We need to do one, nine, and seven. Ooh, I was jumping out of myself. Uh, big day. Big day at the office today. Uh, this eight. This eight needs to have a difference of two. So we must place a six in this box. Uh, let's go over here. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Oh, and we'll clean this up too while we go. It's seven and six. Um, this eight, if it can't have a difference of uh, two, it means it must have a difference of one. So that's a seven and a nine. If this can't have a difference of two, that must have a difference of one uh, because uh, the eight next to it. So because it has a difference of one, it means it must be either a five or a seven. We have a five here, so we'll put a seven here, put the nine in there. Two and four in box seven. Two and four go that, uh, tell us that uh, it can't go in either of those cells. Two and two, put a two there, put a four there. Uh, one, three, and five to place. One, uh, now, this has to have the same dif difference between those two. Uh, if we had a three, that would have a difference of two and six, so that doesn't work. Five and three is how that must go around. Uh, let's clean up some of our boxes now. Oh, uh, hang on, we can just finish off all of the variant logic and we'll go to just regular Sudoku. Uh, we have one arrow that we haven't solved. Uh, four can't have a difference of two. Uh, so it must have a difference of one, making it three or five in this box. Three in the column tells us that this must be the five. Now we're just onto regular old Sudoku. Um, so this is three and five. Three in column six tells us which way around that goes. Uh, one and four to go there. And seven and nine, well, nine there tells us how that does that. Uh, one and six to place here, one and six, uh, three, oh, no, that's not where the three goes, three goes there, that's seven. Uh, this is two and nine, which we can in fact do. Uh, five and seven in this column, to finish that off, five and seven, uh, eight and nine, four and six, and now we've just got one box left. Um, so, don't put a zero in there. Uh, five, eight, and four. This has been Nearest Neighbors by Clover. Uh, my name's still Bill Murphy. Uh, I hope you've had a wonderful day wherever you are and will continue to do so um, after this video hangs up, uh, finishes. But um, stick around. Uh, there'll be a new puzzle from me and solve from Philip tomorrow. Um, and yeah, you know what? Have a have a lovely day. Have a lovely, you know, rest rest of your day, week, life. Have a fantastic weekend. That's a good way to end this video. All right. Cheers. Bye.